Hi, I'm Rachel K. Collier and you're watching RKC Weekly. to RKC Weekly everybody. I hope you all had a nice Christmas and a good new year. I've had a bit of time to chill out which was definitely needed after the chaotic 2019 uh, releasing my debut album RKC and also putting out the full 30 minute documentary on life as an independent artist. So yeah, that was a hell of a year and I just want to say thanks so much to everybody who supported the album, whether you bought the sample pack or the stems um, or you're a patron, it really meant so much to me and I couldn't have done it without you guys. But now it's 2020, new year, um, not new me because I don't really like that saying, but I will say that this year I want to become a better music producer. So I'm going to be spending a bit more time in the studio, less time doing promotion, and I'm hoping to learn some new tips which I can share with you guys here, and also uh, more directly and in depth over on my Patreon. And that leads me very nicely into today's video, because I'm super happy to announce that I have released a whole instrumental now this sneaky second album that I produced in the madness of last year was actually commissioned by Google. And this is a super fun, amazing opportunity. Thank you to YouTube and Google for getting me involved. It means that any of you who are YouTube creators, you can go and download these 10 tracks for absolutely free and you can use them on all of your videos or anything that you're making and you won't have the copyright infringement or, you know, they're royalty free basically, which is super cool. So I was so chuffed to do this project. I locked myself up in the studio. much time as I usually have on tracks. I think I made this album from beginning to end uh, in 10 days so the production's actually a lot more minimal um, but what it was cool was I got my hands on some new gear in the summer which I never would have had a chance to have a go at but having to make this album really made me have a chance to dive in with some fun new pieces of gear. So the day I'm going to talk you through those four pieces of gear and show you how they made the backbone and the shape for these 10 tracks on this record. It's called Pili Pala Beats, which means butterfly beats in Welsh. And let's get to it. Let's get to that first piece of gear, which I want to tell you about and show you some of the sounds I've made with it. Number one is my Yamaha Reface CS. Now it's still relatively new to me, but this is a very easy little synth to use. It doesn't have presets, but it's so easy to shape your little sounds. It's an analog synth that's modeled on the Yamaha CS80 legendary vintage synth. Now I've used this mainly to make lovely pad sounds. <laughs> so now let me show you the sounds I've made with the CS for my album. Okay, so this tune is called Slug Love, and there's a pad made by the CS running the whole way through. Let's listen to it. Let me solo it for you guys. I've doubled it up here, and I've also got an auto filter on it, opening the filter as we go along in the song. But otherwise, there's just a little EQ on there. And let's hear it in the drop. I just love that rich sound. I don't think it ever gets old. So this tune is called The Lone Woodlouse and you're probably noticing a bit of a bug theme here with this album. So I'm just going to play a little bit from the drop but check out that CS when it comes in on the B section. Not that many effects, just the hard effect you for a bit of 
of spread. Oh, little bum note. I don't know if that's meant to be there. Too late now anyway. And let's go. Now this next track, which is called Wasp Kill, is another song at 87. Yep, that sound is the CS. <laughs> I'll solo it. Let me play you that again. And, you know, there's not that much effects on here. We've just got, again, um, the new Fab Filter reverb and also my Valhalla here. And you would think, especially here, this is definitely a um, vocal sound or something, but no, it's my CS. I don't know how I created that, probably with some chorus, maybe a little bit or less release, I don't know, but it sounds cool. So yeah, that's my CS, love it. Let's move on to number two. Number two is the smaller gadget I've got here, and that is the Roland VT4. Now, I've done a whole video on this, talking you through what it does and how to use it, but mainly I've used this in my album everywhere. I've used it to create really subtle textures that you probably wouldn't even notice, but it just gives this really cool spread and width and depth about them. So let me show you the little textures and synth lines I've made using my VT4. So here is my track and it's actually called Lady Bird's Mate. And the riff I made is using vocals and of course the VT4. So let's have a listen to it. Filters down at the moment. You'll see this is something I like to do all the time. Let's solo that riff. You can see I've got quite a few layers of it. I've got a tremolator on there as well. Now, the coolest thing about this riff is that uh, I would never be able to sing something with just my own vocals uh, so accurately, but the uh, VT4 has got this hard tune on it. So sung with the hard tune, I can kind of start to sing these more uh, virtuoso riffs, if you like, and I'll keep it in tune, but then also running through a side chain. How cool does that sound? <laughs> You can still hear my breaths actually in that riff. <laughs> and then in the mix. And now another VT4 texture in this track, which is totally different. Check it out. Here we go. Is this karate chop sound. <laughs> Let me solo that for you. Now this track is called Beatles Unite and the VT4 example I'm going to give you here is more of just like a textural thing rather than a main riff. This is actually one of the first tunes I made for this record. And there is my little texture. So what I've done here is I will have had my System 8 MIDI plugged into my VT4, played a chord and just sung and it's given me this cool little vibe. And I've done that quite a lot on this record just to have sort of underlying sounds that can, you know, which aren't a main feature of the song but add depth and interest. Number three is this very creative mixer which is another Roland thing, uh, it's called the MX-1 and I actually first used this when I did a performance for Roland last August at Abbey Road where I performed with their new groove box 707 and we ran everything through this MX-1. did I know when I first played with it the extent of what this little mixer can do so I actually run all my synths into it you can see I should probably label stuff but I haven't quite got around to it but this is so cool it's got some built-in beat FX which means you can do a live side chain now I've absolutely rinsed this through the whole album and it's also got some other crazy little multi effects here like a delay 
a scatter, a roll, but let me just show you in action. I've got my System 8 running into my MX-1 here. And now I'm gonna just turn on my side chain. You can hear that straight away. You can draw in how little or more, what the rhythm you want to side chain is, which is cool. It's got the high pass, the low pass, and here's the multi FX. Here's the roll. I love this. Scatter. Delay. And like I said, I run all my synths through this. This one too, so same thing here. You can hear the side. Oh yeah. And I've used this MX-1 so mainly for the sidechain, but also for creating transitions. So these delay scatters, rolls, they've been really cool. I've sent the whole mix of say like my drum bus or my bass bus or my guitar bus or whatever sounds I've made and then created cool little transitional effects using these six effects here. So yeah, the Roland MX-1, let's check out some of the cool things I made with it. So back to Beatles Unite. So now you're familiar with that BT4 sound. Check it out when I ran it through the MX-1 and how I used it to make a cool transition. Yeah. Cool, and again here with this kind of guitar-y sounding synth. Add that extra detail. Yeah, and this is stuff that I do probably do like later on in the in the track, but also stuff if I'm looking for some extra inspiration. So yeah, you can run the drums through it, you can run anything through this. You can run it while you're recording in, and you can also run it back through and record back in. So this is one of my favorites from the record, and then we're gonna talk about the live side chain that you can do with the MX-1. So check it out, if we look at this bass track, not that one, but my sub bass, you can see from the waveform here that this has been side chain going in. Now obviously some people might think Oh, but you know, you have more control if you like sidechain later, but when you're creating, you're creating fast, it's got vibe, I'm a fan of just lay it down as it sounds. And look, for bass processing here, I've just got my decapitator and again, uh, a, a neat little EQ here. And that's because the MX-1 is uh, USB sync to Ableton, so it's getting the tempo from Ableton. And then yeah, it sounds wicked, if I do say so myself. And then um, here we go, check out my EDM riff. And these have been recorded with that sidechain effect as well, and then a few more effects on there to add to the dramatic processing. Last but definitely not least is the Roland System 8. Now this is a super cool digital synth which has this plug out feature. Now at first I couldn't get my head around this. It basically means you can take plugins of like classic Roland synths such as SH-101, Jupiter, Juno and put it in to the digital synthesizer then you can plug it away from the computer take it anywhere plug it into a mixing desk without any usb and it's still got that plug in inside all the sounds which is super cool and it means you can control your plug-in with hardware which i love doing because i hate sort of fiddling on the mouse for too long i don't mind doing that when i'm adding effects and kind of playing with the audio but when i'm actually creating my sound i love to be hands-on and this synth has enabled me to do that it's so cool it's like pretty advanced actually you just heard my little um jupiter sequence i think it was but I used really a lot in this album. I plugged out the Roland Promars for um, 
for a lot of my bass sounds. So there's just loads of cool uh, Pro Mars sounds on this record and let's go check them out. So here we go, the bass sound here. Yes. Another sick bass sound from the System 8 Pro Mars plug out here. Another big bassy sound from the System 8, and you've heard this track already, is the Lone Woodlouse. Yes, this whole riff is the System 8. majorly use my system 8 for is the sequencer it's got a real-time sequencer and a step sequencer and I just love the way when you create a little sequence it can glue a whole track together so check it out in Morpho Diana this lovely little sequence and you can also hear those MX1 effects below for those cool transitions This is another little sequence I made for Peely Powder Paradise. <laughs> In the mix. And you can hear that this track is actually utilizing all of those four elements I talked about. So you've got the riff here with the VT4. Very obviously VT4 sound. A couple of effects on here. And with our arc down here, I think I must have ran this straight through the MX1, so I can see there. So yeah, there is my little uh, System 8, which is great, like I said, for the sequencing and the Pro Mars, I've just rinsed it, and some of those big kind of fat synth sounds. System 8 is also really sick for lead sounds, check out this. side chain on here which I put on manually after rather than using the hardware version on the MX1. So there we have it, the four pieces of gear that really helped me sculpt and create this record. Can't recommend them enough, honestly had so much fun making this album with these uh, synths. But yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if there's any sort of track on the album once you've had a listen that you would like me to break down in more detail, please say in the comments below and whatever gets the most requests I'll do an in-depth production video for it. If you are looking for more production tutorials and Ableton tutorials, I've also got lots of stuff on my page. Patreon and a new telegram chat where you can chat to me daily about anything tech But yeah, just want to say thanks for watching this video if you haven't subscribed, please do so and I'll see you very soon on RKC weekly mm -hmm.